Well, Buffalo was one of the great 19th century boom towns. For nearly 150 years, this area just exploded with growth. In 1825, when the Erie Canal connected Buffalo to the East Coast and all the ports of the world, we really became the gateway to the West. This, this area just exploded with millions of immigrants coming through here. And uh, there were lots of jobs here, railroad jobs, um, shipping jobs, working on the docks, the steel industry. Um, but when the American steel industry started to collapse in the 1970s, after the Welland Canal was built and it allowed ships to bypass our port, this area just fell into real decline, disuse, disrepair, and it was really kind of abandoned. You know, you'd come down here for years and there was just nothing going on. So that changed in the last uh, 10 years. There was a lot of investment on the part of government and infrastructure, private industry followed. We've got a lot of new businesses down here, new attractions. When you kayak through Elevator Alley, it feels like you're stepping back in time as those, you know, 120 foot tall walls surround you. It feels like you're in this man-made canyon and it's just something that's very special, I think, and probably unique in the world. There's no other place like the Buffalo waterfront to go kayaking, to go paddle boarding. Um, you can even come down here and go zip lining and rock climbing on former grain silos. So it's a really special place. There's a lot of reasons to be excited about the future of Buffalo's waterfront. People are coming back to the waterfront and the future looks even brighter for our, our city and its waterfront.